Hey Falcons, today we're going to talk about types of fiction. And I have a few fiction books here, but I want you to find different types of fiction yourself using Google. And then you can decide what kind of book you like or what type of fiction you like better. So I'll put these books right here, and I'll go to my computer. And what you want to do first is actually go to your nine dots up here. I probably should figure out what that's called. Click that, hit drive, and pops up. You want to go to new, and be patient. You can see mine is still spinning up here. So it takes a little while sometimes. Click Google Docs, at the arrow key, and you want to hit blank document this time. When you hit blank document, it gives you a chance to do what you want to do on the computer itself instead of following the template. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in the title, Types of, of Fiction. And the reason I do this is because I can actually find it now on my drive under my recent documents or my drive itself. It's always good to give something a title so you can find it or locate it later. Um, I'm going to change the size of my font because I think it looks a little bit better sometimes. We have a heading it's kind of bigger than everything else. Here's this alignment. And you may not have that on your screen, but we can figure it out if you don't. So alignment, click in the middle, and then I'm gonna type in types of fiction. Hit enter a couple times. Um, go to insert table. And do one, two, three, four and three down, let's go four down. Now this takes a while to get your fingers to move the correct way when making these tables, but it can be done, it just takes a little practice. So I'm gonna put down types, I'm gonna put down um, examples, and yes, I like it, no, I don't. So what you would do is put your types in each of the box, one, two, three. So I go, we have this, if you want to have two screens now, there's a perfect time to do it. So you can kind of drag one over. So I'm going to drag this, make a new tab, and drag this over here. So now I have two screens. I'm going to type in um, types of fiction for elementary students pops up. And you might want to put down types of fiction for kids. Either way is fine. But don't just put types of fiction. That becomes too broad and that makes it hard to find something for you as an individual. Hit that. And, uh, and you can see there's quite a few here. But if I make this screen a little bigger for you, and I probably can go down some, and it gives you more examples of types of fiction. Some of them you may not have heard of, some of them you may love already. And even there's more, but five types of fiction. It just depends on what you want to look for and how far you want to go into this research. Personally, the more detail you have, the better off you'll be, but it's your activity. So you found that. I'm going to go ahead and go back up to the top again. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight fantasy. It's an easy way to do this. You hit Control C, Control C on your computer, copies. Then you can go back to this document and hit control V, and it pops it right there for you, okay? And then from there, you can give examples. So now you have um, fantasy to type of fiction. And a real cool thing about this, if you can highlight inside this block all the way, you can change your fonts again to make it something a little better, sorry, over here. And you can do this to make it which, which may make it look a little better anyway by changing the size. So, all kind of things you can do, but you gotta change fiction back to the right side, I guess. All right, that's it, pretty easy. The biggest thing is you wanna make sure you make a new document, give it a title, and find the types of fiction. Oh yeah, and make a chart. So four things you wanna really focus on today.